Welcome to this Noddy Networker video on how to use the Meridian App Sandbox for wayfinding. OK, let's start with a quick introduction. The App Sandbox is a runtime environment and a local sandbox API for use within a Meridian App Maker or white label app. It provides the ability to host external web pages inside a Meridian powered app as if they were part of the app itself and it allows an external web page to trigger Meridian based actions such as wayfinding. Why use it? Well, the App Sandbox allows customers to quickly add Meridian based wayfinding functionality to an existing web based application such as a browser based events app or a conference booking system. Typically, it's used by customers that want to provide proprietary functionality within a Meridian app maker or white label based application, but who don't want to develop a full blown native Meridian SDK based solution. And how do we use it? Well, that's what we're going to be running through in the rest of this video. So these are the three simple steps to add a directions button to an existing external web page that will invoke the Meridian wayfinding. In our example, the button will provide the user turn by turn directions to the cafeteria. OK, the first step is to modify our existing web based content to use the Meridian app sandbox and its API. So let's have a look at the existing external web page. OK, this is our website and our existing content is the noddy webhtml this is the website that we're going to start with. As you can see, really simple page. Let's have a look at the source. You can see the HTML, very simple. We have some uh, meta statements for the browser. We have an empty header section and the body section is just a one simple division called Noddy title. And that's made up of a single header statement and one paragraph uh, of text. So really straightforward, very simple. And that's what it looks like. Now let's take a look at the modifications needed to our content to provide the direction button support. I've already made the changes in the noddy directionshtml page. So let's take a look at that. Now, although the page looks the same as the last page, if we look at the source, we can see that there are significant differences. The most important change is the addition of these two lines. These effectively activate the Sandbox API functionality. They are provided in the Meridian Sandbox documentation and you just need to copy them into the head section of your content. Next, you see we define and initialize a couple of uh, variables. The first one, uh, called operating environment, is set to the value of the Meridian host function. This function simply returns the value of app when the page is running in hosted sandbox environment of a white label app. It doesn't equal app when it runs under any other environment, such as a browser under Windows or Linux or Mac OS. The next variable is a placemark structure, which in this case we initialize to equal the cafeteria placemark defined in our white label app. The values for the map ID and placemark ID elements are obtained from the Meridian editor. Let's log on to the editor. and open our application. And look at the maps. Look at the place marks. Zoom in. So let's find our cafeteria. Here it is. There's the details for the cafeteria placemark. 
and if we look at the top of the uh, browser here we can see this is the placemark ID for the cafeteria placemark and this is the map ID for the particular placemark that we're interested in. So these two pieces of information are what we place into our uh, structure in our web page. That's all the changes to the head section. Now let's look at the uh, body of the content. No changes to the first division of the body. This is the same content as per the original page. But next, we've added a new section which will conditionally display our directions button. In fact, by default, you can see that this section is hidden. And only if the operating environment variable is equal to app is the section made visible. Basically, only if the content is running as a hosted page in the app sandbox of a Meridian white label app does the section get displayed. The section consists of two parts. The first is a hyperlink which is set to the Meridian get directions function of the sandbox API. We pass the get direction function an argument equal to the placemark structure of the cafeteria that we initialized earlier in the head section of the page. The second part displays an image which in our example here is a direction button icon located in the Meridian cloud. So let's go back to our website and open the Noddy Directions page. Now it should be more obvious why the page looks identical to the original web content. This is because we are running in a browser on a laptop. Hence the Meridian host function will not equal app. And so the new section of content containing the direction button will remain hidden. That concludes step one. So now let's move to the second step where we'll be configuring our Meridian powered app to host and display that modified external web content. Firstly, we need to open our Meridian white label app. And then we will add our new hosted external web page. We open the pages, we hit add page, we give our page a name, call it directions, type is set to a web page, the URL is set to our external content, and the mode must be set to hosted. This effectively will activate the app sandbox. And then we just save that configuration. And then if we go back to pages. We can see our new web page called directions is defined. For testing purposes, we'll add access to our new content via the featured page. We go add a new link as our directions page and we'll simply save that. So we've defined our new external web page hosted in the app sandbox and we've put a link to it on the featured page of our white label app. Now we're ready to test our integration and check that the directions button appears on our external web page and that it invokes wayfinding directions to the cafeteria when selected. Open our iPhone and open App Viewer and select our application. And here we can select the featured link to our external web page. 
and here is our modified external web page. Because we are running in the Meridian App Sandbox, the direction icon button is displayed. And when we select the button, as expected, we see it invokes the Meridian turn by turn wayfinding to the cafeteria place mark. And that concludes this Noddy Networker video on using the Meridian App Sandbox. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.